during the course of your relationship, did he ever push you down any stairs? No, he never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. Did you have chemistry? Did the two have chemistry? Would we be better off recasting, finding someone who had better, more natural chemistry with Jason Momoa uh, and move forward? I, I never saw Mr. Depp get physical with anyone when I saw him. I'm not seeking any 15 minutes here. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I can say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. Just a second ago, I, I may have said that I misspoke. I apologize, I misspoke. You know where, whether Marlon Brando used an earpiece? Whether, isn't he dead? <laughs> yeah. So the answer is no, he does not use one now. <laughs> oh, no, I, I, I used the past tense. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Depp calls Kate Moss to the stand. She will be appearing on your screen. If you could raise your right hand. Do you swear affirm to tell the truth under penalty of law? I do. Thank you. What, if anything, happened when you were in Jamaica with Mr. Depp? I, um, we were leaving the room and Johnny left the room before I did and there had been a rainstorm and as I left the room, I slid down the stairs and I hurt my back. And I screamed because I was in, because uh, I didn't know what had happened to me and I was in pain. And um, he came running back to help me and carried me to my room and got me medical attention. Did Mr. Depp push you in any way down the stairs? No. Uh, during the course of your relationship, did he ever push you down any stairs? No, he never pushed me, kicked me, or threw me down any stairs. Thank you, Ms. Moss. Uh, we have nothing further at this time. We greatly appreciate your taking the time to testify. All right. Any cross-examination? No, Your Honor. All right. You're free to go. Thank you, Ms. Moss. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ms. Hurd's dispute with Johnny Depp have in Warner Brothers delay picking in picking up Ms. Hurd's option for Aquaman 2. There was there was none from our end. It was the concerns that were brought up uh, at the wrap of the first movie, production of the first movie, which is the issue of chemistry. Did the two have chemistry? Um, you know, I think editorially they were able to, to make that relationship work in the first movie. But there was a concern that it took a lot of effort to get there and would we be better off recasting finding someone who had better more natural chemistry with Jason Momoa uh, and move forward that. other than the creative concerns and concerns about chemistry you testified about was there any other reason Warner Brothers delayed in picking up Ms. Herbert's option for Aquaman 2? No, it was all it was all concerns about whether she was the right bit of casting for the movie. Can you give me anything more specific about what it was with Amber Heard and Jason Momoa that was difficult for the chemistry? No, because it's 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 like what makes a movie star a movie star. Like you 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 know it when you see it, and the chemistry wasn't there. I spoke to three, um, the three upper echelon um, Disney executives, uh, excuse me, Warner executives, Kevin Sujihara, Sue Kroll, and uh, uh, Greg Silverstein. Um, and I told them, um, 
Well, I, 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 um, I can only say that ultimately she did, she did get the job in the film. Based on your analysis, did Mr. Depp's finger injury happen as a result of a vodka bottle being thrown at him? Objection no. leading. Overruled. I'm sorry. Uh, no. And what is the basis for that opinion? Well, the, the medical data is inconclusive. Uh, it's it's uh, not consistent with what we see in the, in the described injury pattern or in the, uh, the clinical photographs. And there are, there are several elements. There's, there's uh, you know, the description was of the hand being flat on a bar and the, and the bottle crushing the finger from the top. But looking at the images, there's really no, no significant injury to the dorsum of the finger. And to create the type of injury with that, with that uh, uh, type of a crush injury, we would anticipate both injury to the fingernail um, and other parts of the finger. With the mechanism described that if the, if the bottle struck the nail, there would have certainly been an injury to the nail bed. Um, and in order for the, for the uh, soft tissue injury to be created by that mechanism, there would have almost certainly been tissue loss on the top of the finger as well. Does Mr. Depp's description of what happened line up with the undisputed photographic evidence that you've reviewed? No. Isn't it true, Dr. Moore, that when Mr. Depp did the demonstration in his deposition, he showed that his fingers were hanging over the bar? Well, uh, even hanging over the bar, it still leaves the dorsum of the hand or the nail vulnerable. That's to not the... my question, Dr. Moore. My question is, isn't it true that Mr. Depp said his fingers were not laying flat on a table, they were hanging over the bar? Yes. Isn't it true that Mr. Depp also testified that the bottle came from an off angle? Yes. And you consider that in rendering your opinions today, correct? Yes, I believe he stated that uh, it came from between six and 10 feet. Uh, I think it was off to, I think he demonstrated it was off to his right. I can't recall specifically, but it was off angle, yes. So it didn't come from the top, as you previously testified just a few minutes ago, correct? Uh, well, no, it would have struck the, the top of the finger, but it may have been slightly off angle in its approach based on the description. A bottle is a foreign object, isn't it? Yes. Okay. So you can't rule out that the injury to Mr. Depp's finger was caused by a vodka bottle, correct? Well, based on the injury pattern, I can say that the described mechanism of injury is inconsistent with medical findings. Right. But because a vodka bottle is a foreign object, you can't rule out that a vodka bottle is what caused Mr. Depp's injury. Well, I, I can't rule out that a vodka bottle caused the injury, but I can rule out that it was caused in the manner described in his testimony. Yeah, he was... His, <laughs> I felt this pressure, I felt this pressure. He, oh, my pubic bone, man. He, he thought he was punching me. I just saw his arm, I could feel his arm moving and I, it looked like he was punching me. Um. I was speaking with Mr. Depp, uh, just one-on-one, -on -one, talking about Hicksville, and um, Ms. Hurd uh, came over and she said that I want to talk to you and seemed really upset about something. So I went and um, back in the house because it was really, um, they went off on their own and they, she started yelling at him. At any time during Mr. Depp and Ms. Hurd's stay on the property, did you see Mr. Depp become physical with anyone? Objection I did not. leading. Okay. Overruled. I'm sorry, that answer was? Uh, I, I never saw Mr. Depp get physical with anyone when I saw him. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Right. Cross-examination. Mr. Knight, you are a pretty big fan of Johnny Depp, aren't you? I am not. To be honest, <laughs> uh, Throughout the evening, I, uh, I sorry, I, I just asked you one question. Oh, I, I, I didn't apologize. ask you the rest of that. I you apologize. wanted to participate in this trial, didn't you? I did not. I you was knew? asked by the attorney, and I wanted to. They um, asked me, and I said I'll be happy to come and tell the truth.
state the question again. What was your team of paparazzi supposed to do while they were at the Los Angeles courthouse on May 27th, 2016? Their objective was to capture her leaving the courthouse and then she was going to sort of stop and turn towards the camera to display the bruise on the right side of her face, the alleged bruise. Did your team of videographers get the shot of Amber Heard? We did. So you received a link. What was in that link? In that link was the video of Johnny Depp smashing the cabinets. And you received this video in your inbox, correct? I did. I, I am aware that there are cameras. And so this gets you your 15 minutes of fame. Objection, it? Your Honor. Argumentative. I can ask that question. Oh, world. So I stand to gain nothing from this. I'm actually putting myself kind of in the target of TMZ, a very litigious uh, organization, and I'm not seeking any 15 minutes. Though you may, you're welcome to speculate. I could say the same thing by taking Amber Heard as a client for you. A little argumentative, do you think? <laughs> oh, hardly. I find that to be purely logical. You compared pirates to the tech, uh, to, to the depositions given then in this I, case. And I apologize for what I said. Then I misspoke. <laughs> you misspoke? You didn't make the comparison? Right now, just a second ago? Just a second ago, I, I may have said that I misspoke. I apologize, I misspoke. And you don't know how prevalent the use of earpieces are in acting. Again, I, do, I, I know nothing about acting. Irrespective of the fact you know nothing about acting, you've testified that Mr. Depp's use of an earpiece is somehow a cognitive deficit. So if I was giving a lecture and I was fed my lines, I would think there's a cognitive deficit. So I'm, and maybe I'm wrong. Like I said, maybe I could be wrong. Maybe Hollywood stars get lines fed to them through earpieces all the time, and I, I don't know. You know where, whether Marlon Brando used an earpiece? Whether, isn't he dead? <laughs> yeah. So the answer is no, he does not use one now. <laughs> no, I, I, I used the past tense. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, again, I know nothing. I will concede to you I know nothing about acting. I will concede to you 100%. If that is the standard and people are done that acting, then I apologize and that was wrong on my part. If that's the standard, I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay.